Um, Lou, would you just put the radio off for me, please, love? I just realised I hadn't done that. And I'm live. <sighs> Hello. Well, welcome back everyone. Welcome back to the third live Facebook for the day as part of the Great Australian Craft Show, Great International Craft Show even. Gosh, I really do need to get that right, don't I? I really do need to try and nail that. Okay, I'm just trying to bring it up on my screen here. Hopefully the internet is going to play ball and do its thing today. I'm just bringing the comments up, comments on, bloody hell. Oh, it helps if you bring up the right live Facebook. Um, as part of the Great International Craft Show, um, we have got 20% off of papers today online at nataliemay.com.au. So while I'm just trying to make this little bit of magic happen on here, which is just clearly, I'm not going to swear at it, but it might help. Um, yeah, so I'm doing some live Facebooks every day and having a bit of a play with a few different things, talking about a few fun techniques and just generally making pretty things. Um, what else is there? So a couple of other quick things I want to mention. We have a fantastic postage special on. Because we are doing new live Facebooks every single day, we, are, we have some... Oh, this bloody internet. Sorry. Because we have got great specials on every day, what we're going to be doing is offering you our No Judgment special again for... Can mine just be the laptop? You reckon it's the laptop? Yeah, remember last time? Okay, here we go. Sorry, guys. I'm just trying to make my magic happen here. Oh, no, I've got it now, Louise. I'm good. Pop that back on charge. Sorry, here we go. Oh, look, there's all these lovely people. Susan Bellamy. I have received your beautiful handmade card today. Thank you for your love. We do very much appreciate a little bit of love. Um, okay, so we're back on track. As part of the... Oh, now it's frozen. You've got to be... Nope. Uh, part of the Great Australian Crowd Show. We have got specials on every day. Something different every day for you. We've got some great bundles available online. So what that means is we've got some great things such as... Um, we've got our sparkle bundle, we have our adhesive bundle, so make sure on the website you have a look in the menu section and you will see everything that they're, like all the great specials we've got for the weekend. All right, sorry about those little technical difficulties this morning, this afternoon. I want to do an art journal page. Um, I want to do some stamping today and I want to have a play with some paint. I'm going to use uh, my new hex stencil in the in my classics art journal so this is the classics journal from Dina Wakely this is the art journal that has black pages it has ivory pages and it also has some craft pages in it as well I'm just trying to show you so this is one of the pages that I've done on the craft page on like recently um, so it's fantastic because it gives you lots of different opportunities to create on different surfaces. So this is the Dina Wakely Classics Journal. What I will do at the end of the class is I will link up the products that I have used so that you can refer back and you can see what I've used and, and see how fantastic and buy all the things. Okie dokie. 
So what I did here is I just got some white gesso and I have used my catalyst tool just to swipe it onto the background because I wanted to work with a, back, a black background but not have it totally black. I'm gonna be adding some paint to this and I wanna do some stamping and use some paper artsy stamps and paints for my background today. So before I do anything else, I'm going to pop this aside and I've pulled out the um, my Tracy Scott Paper Artsy stamp. Um, I love this one and I want the B, I'm gonna use that. But before I do anything, um, I want that to be on a, on a piece of painted paper. So I'm gonna put this aside and I'm going to wax some paint on here okay so i know that i'm going to get a, a combination of lots of different colors and i'm going to create a painty sort of background um and i'm not even going to i'm not even going to use a brush at this stage i'm going to use my palette knife and put it down so i'm just going to use do a little bit of this I'm going to mix my colours around on a plain piece of that, um, paper to create something that looks really quite bright and painty. And so the other reason is is with the other reason I'm using the the catalyst tool is because the catalyst tool will dry the paint off really quick, so that I can stamp straight onto it. Okay, so I want to be able to. Uh, create plenty of um, I want to add plenty of stamping but I want to also do it quite quickly I don't want you guys to be watching me do this all afternoon because I've got one more live Facebook this afternoon so the the paper artsy paints are really lovely to use especially for stamping and um, drawing over the top of so they are a little bit chalky um, this is opaque, so they're opaque paints. I've got a, a massive big batch of them on the way in, and they should be here oh, mid to late next week, um, hopefully. So, fingers crossed they arrive in a timely fashion. So, I've expanded my, my colour range. So, there's some more colours on the way in. Now you'll notice I'm trying to keep my strokes in a very similar sort of pattern. They're not all over the place and that's way too much paint. But let's commit to it. So this is just a old piece of scrap paper. I actually think it's a scrapbook album insert that I'm working on. So it's not a fancy paper by any means. It's just a, a nice paper to use. I'm now going to mix things up and add in a, a bit of a, a blue, but not very much. Let's start with that one. So this is a translucent colour. And as you can see, it's actually translucent. So it's not a solid, a solid acrylic paint. Um, this will work with Dina Wakeley paints. It'll work with any other brand, not a problem. Today I'm using it with, I'm doing it with this technique so that I can um, have a bit of a play with some different colours. So for those of you just tuning in for the first time, welcome, welcome. Um, my name is Natalie May and this is not my first time on the internet. Um, what's this colour? Orchid. So there's plenty of things, plenty of pattern papers on special today in our um, in the first day of our Great International Craft Show sale. We've got lots of things available, uh, lots of pattern papers. So, you know, give yourself a, you've got till about midnight to take advantage of all of the items on special for today. And then they will no longer be on special. Tomorrow I've got a brand new, new special starting. Um, so something something to suit everyone 
I'm using the flat side of my catalyst tool here to swipe the paint up and down so that it gives a real a real rough sort of look. It's looking a little bit messy, but so I can read Louise's mind as she's standing here over my shoulder looking at it going, what the hell are you doing? But what do we say about it? We trust that process. Hey Louise, while you're up, do you want to grab those three new buckets for me, please, that we that I created this week? And I can show the ladies. So I'm going to introduce a bit of green look, aqua now, but I don't want to do it over the top of any. I don't want to do it over the top of anything that's wet because I don't want it to accidentally mix up. Um, I don't want it to make mud with the orange. So I'm just adding some pops, but I'm connecting it to my blue. Uh, thank you all. So we've added a few little exciting little bits and pieces into our online store. Louise is just going to do that. Please don't roll it in the paint. Mind you, it could work. Um, so this is, these are little buckets that we use for putting your paint water in or store your paint brushes or your pens or something like that. So we've got all the things. We've got trust the process, which is, you know, that's the, the word, the phrase that I use all of the time because it's a process. And then last but not least, my favorite saying, happy wife, happy life. So these are only five dollars each and they are excellent little additions to your craft desk to put your um, paint brushes in to put your bits and pieces in when you are crafting on your desk all right <laughs> Susan's got one as well I think most of you have got one but I thought I'd bring some out with some new phrases on it just to keep you tempted all right so I'm just gonna pop that aside to dry and I really love this swipey sort of, this swipey sort of messy look. Need a bit more yellow, I think. A bit more tangerine twist. I probably need a brighter yellow, actually, but... But yeah, stuff it, let's commit to it. Okay, so I'm just going to pop that aside to dry and I'm going to add some colour over the top now of my, my pre-gesso background. So gesso, of course, is an undercoat and it is a sealer, which means that whatever I put over the top, if I want to add something white to it, then it's not going to go all the way through. So I'm going to use my new Hexed stencil. And I'm going to add some, perhaps, something that's going to complement what I've just done here. So I'm not going to see a whole lot of this because I'm going to do some stamping and cutting. So I think I might use... hate it when you clean up and then you can't find anything here we go I'm going to use a little bit of paint on my tear off palette and I'm going to add some aquamarine to it sorry that I keep dropping out Faye that's just to keep you on your toes babe and I'm going to use a blending tool to put my paint on so I'm actually going to use a foam bend, a blending tool with one of the domes. One of the domed blending tools. So I'm going to completely and totally coat my domed blending tool. And this is, this is the new Hexed stencil. And I'm going to get it on like that. Now, I'm actually going to put a couple of colours together here. So let's go with 
some weathered copper as well. Yeah, I'm sorry if it cuts out, guys. Look, I don't really know what's going on there. I can't control technology, um, unfortunately. If I could, I reckon I'd be a millionaire. Um, so, yes, really unsure about what's going on. But I want a really light wipe over the top there. So I've got a really nice two-tone sort of image going on. Just think, when you can watch it back, you can also mute me. Has its advantages, girls. And boys. Any boys watching? So this stencil is included in the October Art Journal class that I'm doing online as well. So for those of you who have signed up, this stencil will be coming to you in your kit and being posted out to you or be put in with your order. There we go. So what I've done is just laid a little bit of that paint over the background, nothing too much. I'm gonna add a little bit of a yellow splatter to it as well. So, well, it's more a tangerine splatter. And I'm gonna do that by using a thinner paintbrush with a bit of water on it. And I'm gonna make a little bit of a, a juicy wash. And I'm just lightly splattering some of that yellow over my page. It's not gonna show up very much on camera, but I will bring it up to camera in a minute so that you can have a bit of a look. Because the rest of the elements are just gonna get stuck on over the top of this. I'm not gonna do anything else to my background here. So I'll pop that aside to dry. Come back to that. And I'm quickly gonna dry this off. I think what we found with the, with the, uh, the internet is unfortunately, uh, as the internet is becoming more and more in demand interstate as everyone is on lockdown is putting a bit of a strain on the system so um i know that it is i'm watching it on my laptop here next to me and i'm not seeing that it's dropping out here on my end so i'm also having i've got it live just off to my left here so um yeah just one of those awesome awesome things too many people on goodness me all right so i'm making sure that's 100 percent dry because i'm going to stamp over the top of this now all right so i'm going to bring it up nice and close so you can see those colors see how it's really swipey oh now there's someone at the door so it's swipey because I'm using this and I'm making it really flat as I'm swiping it over the top. Uh, and it, it dries a lot quicker as well. So uh, it dries quick because I'm not using a ton of paint. Is that a delivery? Oh, that's a bit pathetic. It's a very little box. Who's that from? Prom note. Ink station. Oh, that's boring. That's barcode labels. Dude, that was quick. <laughs> I know, I only ordered those yesterday. All right, so what I want to do is I want to stamp my B, first of all. So my B is going to be about that big. Okay, so let's have a bit of a think about where I want him to go. Do I want him there? Do I want green in the body and orange on the outside? Do I want a big orange? Oh, I like this area. So I can kind of choose where I want it to, where I want it to be, where I want the bee to be. Wow, that's bad jokes, left, right and center. Actually, it looks really good there. So what I'm going to do, is I want it to go about here. I'm going to cut that out. I'm going to 
going to put it on here. So my stamp press is great because my stamp press means that, oh, maybe it might be better. My stamp press means that I can, if I don't get a really good impression the first time, I can stamp again and again and again. Now, the other thing that I want to do is I'm just going to grab a piece of sticky tape. Hey, Lou, could you grab me some sticky tape, please? I thought I had it handy. Oh, no, I've got it. Stop looking. I made you walk out of there for nothing. Actually, I just had to say it out loud. And I'm going to tape that down just to guarantee that the bottom doesn't move because I don't have another magnet happy handy. And then I'm going to close that down. Right, and let's get some ink on this baby. Um, what ink am I going to use? I'm going to use black soot. I'm going to use black soot and before I use black soot, I'm going to re-ink it to make sure that it's nice and juicy. So the Archival Distress Black Soot re-inker, we have those in stock. We also have the other colours in stock as well. Louise is nodding her head at me. Um, thank you, my rainbow sticky tape came up. I just buy it because it's cute. Like, seriously. Um... Now, when I re-ink, so black soot is definitely a different colour to the other one, which is the archival. Um, you need to make sure that you are inking it in the colours that it's made for. The black soot is a blacker black than jet black. I know. All right, so I'm just going to test that. Yep, it's in the right spot. And now I'm going to get that on. Now, I'm never going to get this right the very first time. The other thing is, is I'm also working on a trestle table underneath my in my area here. So I need to stamp it a few times to make sure that it's nice and juicy. So the wings look great, but I'm lacking in the middle here. There we go, we're starting to get a bit more depth and I'm gonna stand up. So for some reason my muscles are not working when I'm bent over. Oh, come here. Ooh. And this is the advantage of a stamp press, is that I can go over it again and again and again and again, and I can get that black super black, and that's really, really important. So I'm going to pop that aside to dry. And I'm going to heat set it to make sure that it's super dry and it doesn't smudge because archival ink is a black, um, it has a... Natalie, words. It is an oil-based ink. So I'm just going to do this now, and I'm going to work on cut some of these little hexes out. How's everybody's day going? Is anybody doing anything exciting today where you are? Or am I your exciting day? And then these are with the stamp set as well. So I'm gonna go there, there, there. And I'll be able to cut these out super quick with scissors. I think it's gonna take me longer to cut out the B. And now I'm gonna repeat the process with my black ink.
Nailed it. First time. Peel that off. I'm not going to do too many. I'm only going to do a couple. does make it so much easier to work with a stamp press I have to say and I'm not fluffing around with stamp blocks And I will add, do a couple with stamp blocks as well because I want to do them in the gaps. So I also received in a little shipment of stamp blocks the other day. Um, hey, Louise, could you grab me a stamp block, please? Of course, I don't have one here handy. Top drawer, pull out that top drawer. Second, yeah, top drawer. Second drawer. You know, not the top drawer. And they'll be at the back. A little baby one, please. Thanks, babe. So we do have these little baby ones in stock now too. And you'll find those in the tools section. So I can just go back now and fill in a couple of gaps. One, I like this one. cold and windy in Sydney. Hopefully it's warming up over the weekend, Susan has just said. Michelle has just commented saying it is a beautiful day in Adelaide and she is correct. It is a perler. It is a perler of a day. Absolutely gorgeous here in Adelaide today. Mind you, I don't know. Whoops. It's a bit tight. I don't know that it's going to last very long. I'm not going to cut too many of those out, or I'm going to be sticking them. To cut it in. Stamp too many. I'll stick them out. It'll take me forever to cut them out. Um, but yeah, so it's it's quite quite a nice day. All right, that's enough. So let's pop those aside. Pull out my Timmy scissors. Oh, let's put the lid on that. So the difference between archival ink in black soot and archival ink in jet black is, of course, the uh, black soot is is blacker. It has more of a more of a solid black to it, um, which makes a big difference, especially when you are stamping onto white. And you're wanting to stamp something that's going to like it's got lots of black content to it I think that that's super important um, so I'm just roughly going to cut these babies out okay who's got any questions for me because I've got about five minutes here of cutting <laughs> ask me a question I may, um, come on, someone's got something, surely. I'm 
gonna do about a dozen or so because I've got a, a full art journal page. Oh, hello, Julie Cox. Nice of you to join us. What time do you think this is, babe? I've been, I've been going here for five minutes. No, I haven't. I've been going for 10. No, I've been going for 30. Crikey. Really? Right. I'm trying to mix my colours up a bit. Um, Kerry, you can pop over right now and start the fussy cutting for me because you know that fussy cutting is not my favourite thing. You will also notice that I'm doing the easy bits first, which is this, because I really, really don't love cutting out the bits. Okay, Lauren has just the question, asked a question. Lauren has asked the question, just wondering what comes in the kits for the monthly online classes. All right, so with the monthly online classes that I do, um, I for $26, the classes are the same price every month, I try and supply a little kit. It might be, and it will be different for each month. So some months it'll be a stencil, you'll get an exclusive stencil. Some months you'll get a some uh, collage paper. You'll get, you might, they, they differ from month to month. You might get some scrapbook paper. You get the important elements to make the page come, look as close as it does to, to mine. It won't be, um, you don't get paint or anything like that. There are a list of things that you do have to supply. Um, you, you can go back and join in the classes at any time as well. So any classes that are available online, you can jump in and, and do at any time. So it, it doesn't mean that, uh, that you've missed out on the, on the August class. The August class was actually the one that there was a, an exclusive digital download. So what that meant was the class of August, instead of supplying a, a physical kit to you, there was a fantastic printed out a design that you had to print out at home. And it was a, um, yeah, something from Michelle Grant Designs who has an amazing online store of digital products. So there's always going to be an option for you. Um, but I do try and make sure that there's a, a kit the kit is included um, in the in the cost of the class, and so is the postage to get it to you, um, unless you live in New Zealand. Uh, so yeah, there you go. So the kit for October, for example, you get a, a template and also a, a, my new design for my new stencil design as well. Okay. Does that answer your question, my love? So, and the, the, the art journal classes, I try and make them suitable for everyone. I try and make them suitable for be, like beginners. Never said you should be using fussy cutting scissors, not bow scissors. Oh, okay. Alison, Alison says fussy cutting scissors will make this easier. Oh, I beg to differ. In 20 years, I have never used a pair of tiny little girly scissors, as I call them, because I've got big man hands. I don't, I don't love fussy cutting. I think it's harder. I find I'm more, I mean, hey, it might work. All right, Bevis, here we go. What do, what do fussy cutting scissors look like? There's my first problem. I don't even have any open. I've got them in the shop. Um, got of I've got plenty of scissors. I've got like 11 pairs of scissors, but they all have, because I've got big hands, I love this big bit here. I don't, they're all the same scissors. <laughs> Do I like a pair of large handled scissors? I think the answer is yes. Right, you're banned. No, I, why am I banned from buying scissors? You can, I like them. Hey, every time I'm looking for a pair of scissors, they're always in your office anyway, so. Um, no, I, I don't, fussy, funny, fussy cutting scissors don't fit in my broad hands. Alison would know, she does heaps of fussy cutting. Yes, she does. 
I should have just sent it all to her. Um, but I do, I do believe it. Uh, everyone has their superpower, and uh, fussy cutting is the superpower of Alison and Kerry Ann. Not me. Not me. No, that's okay. They're looking forward to you cutting the bee. I'm looking forward to me cutting the bee. Said nobody ever. All right, let's just cut it then, hey. So what I do is like I do when I'm colouring an image, I have to work on a smaller area. So that means I will take it down and only have just the paper that I need. And for some reason, it's going to take a little bit more concentration than necessary today. And I am so terrible at cutting. But that's okay because this is my art journal page. And if you like to fussy cut something out and be a little bit more intricate, that's fine. That's your page. Is that a new tat on your right arm? No, darling. It's not a new tat on my right arm. It's a temporary tattoo. When I was cleaning out my... I know because I'm 12, right? Um, when I was cleaning out my studio ready for this weekend, the studio at home to try and find some bits and pieces. I found some temporary tattoos that were gifted to me by a New York artist. And I, some stickers and some tattoos, but I've used all the stickers up and I found these little temporary tattoos that she sent over to me. Um, and what's her name? Cal Barteski, I think it is. Anyway, I found them. Hey, what was that, Lou? Cowabunga. Yeah, cowabunga. Um, <laughs> you're an idiot. <laughs> you're a dick. Um, so, yeah, I, um, I tend to, I went, oh, you know what? I'll just whack that on there. And it just says, be brave, be brilliant. Except for when you're fussy cutting. I haven't sworn yet, but I'm sure it's coming. And I didn't heat set it, so I'm still getting a little bit of rub off on my thumb as I hold the image. So, all right, let's have a little chat about what's going on on the website. I'm trying to read the comments, but. Whose B is that? Whose B is that? That's Tracy Scott's B. On the website, if you do a search for the code, T S O five nine. That is the B. It is it is an absolute ripper, and I have covered. I have wanted it for such a long time. Did you take it off? Did you? I did, Louise. Um. So yes, it is a Tracy Scott B. Um. So on the website, you will let me let me talk you through some important things that are happening during the show. Every day there will be a new special. So tomorrow's special, um, the 20% off to pa the papers that we have today, that will be deactivated tonight and there will be a new special going up in the morning. So you will have to keep an eye out on the Facebook page to find out when that is going to go live uh, or, and what the special is going to be. Tomorrow I will also be doing four live Facebooks again. So you're stuck with me again to make some pretty things and have our morning coffee and chat. Uh, there are, in the side menu on the website, we have the category which is called show bundles. Show bundles are the exclusive bundles that we have put up and made together, put together just for this weekend. Once they are gone, they are gone. So if you need to stock up on paint pens, mind you, I think most of you have, um, that is the opportunity to do it. And then we have got, what else is there? Oh, the paint tools. So the paint tools is brushes, tear off palettes, and the, the round palette. So they are also available at an awesome price. They are a minimum of 30% off, okay, all of the bundles. There is a sparkle bundle, which is the Art by Marlene rhinestones with some glass domes by Uniquely Creative. There is also, 
Oh, the Christmas paper bundles. So this week, this weekend with the Craft Alive event is actually a Christmas show. So if you catch me in another week moment, you may see me wear a Christmas hat or even make a Christmas project. But there's no guarantees on that. Um, but the, the whole idea is that we have got a great Christmas special in these fantastic bundles. So the bundles are a six by six paper pad, a six by six stencil, and a card and envelope pack for card makers. And that is 30% um, off as well. So, oh God, thank God that's over. Look at that though, she's a bit cute. I do love it. So there's plenty of great specials online. Um, in the show specials category, we have marked down a ton of product as well. So there is plenty of great options. So some, some stamps in there that need a new home. There's some stencils in there that have been, uh, that are what we call hard to find. One-offs. Last one's left. I'm going to add some gold to this actually, guys, I've decided. So I've got a paper artsy gold here, which is on the way in. It's been shipped. You could use the Dina Wakely gold. You could use a Reeves gold. You could use just about anything. But I decided that this needs a little gold. So using the back of my catalyst tool, I'm just going to swipe some gold. that a delivery is he stopping out stopping out the front hope he brings some goodies right so a little bit of gold swiping over is just going to give the page a little lift and a little shine okay like that okay so my bee is going to go here um i should have actually done a little yellow under here truth be told but you know i didn't so let's commit to it. Glue. All right. And I'm just going to, oh, come on, you son of a gun. My new bow glue. I'm going to layer some of these down. over the top. Oh, thanks, Bevis. Alison has sent us a delivery. Alison, are you still online, darling? Oh, that's the wrong spot. There we go. So we have just received a delivery of... Chipboard over. Chipboard. So look at that, Australia Post coming through with the goods and actually doing next day delivery. Yes. How about that other delivery, Alison? How's that going? <laughs> or are we not talking about that anymore? It's going to come tomorrow, isn't it, Alison? And then you're going to overnight it for us, darling. The other little thing that we're waiting for. So I'm just building my hexagons up this way. Um, up towards my B. See, Alison, that was quicker than you jumping on a plane and hand delivering it, lovely. <laughs> as much as I would have preferred that. Tell you what, you've got to love supporting these Australian businesses that work hard. That's not right. That needs to go there. Work hard, put in the hours, and, and, and look after your customers. Because I tell you what, customer service... Is a is a is a sport these days that I think um, it's not really a sport at all, is it? Some people think it is. <sighs> Look, I think customer service is important anyway. All right, can you see where we're going here? I'm going to lift that up a bit too. So 
So Alison has just delivered some, had delivered to us, some Minte chipboard, which I will be doing a demonstration with over the weekend. Not today. Not today, but I'm going to show, show you how to make some Christmas decorations because it is a Christmas show. All right. Don't you love that that took me way, it took me longer to cut those out. All right, so with that, that's okay. That's looking pretty good. That is gonna sit here. What I would like to do is, it just needs a little black stamping underneath it. Or a little bit of, a little bit of something, something. Don't laugh at me. Um, I'm going to use my on the grid stamp and I'm going to add a little bit of black stamping so that on the grid stamp is exactly that it just pops a little a little grid in the background and what that's going to do is it's going to sit underneath my B And I designed this stamp because I love this mesh feel. I love this simple grid that you um, that the stamp gives. Okay, so custom my customer. Oh, okay. Thank you, Kerry Ann. Louise Kerry Ann says that our customer service is the bee's knees and second to none. Well, this bee has no knees. But I'll take it. Radio. So now what's happening next is I've put this on here and what I can see is it looks good, but I'm too close to here. I just need to pop a little bit of white over the top. Now I know that sounds funny and I'm probably going to ruin it, but again, using the back of my palette knife, I just want to tone a little bit of this down and help these blend into my page a little bit and what's actually happening is my palette knife is just picking up the edges which is exactly what I wanted it to do every now and again it works you know just works and then knowing when to stop is really important right let's stop fluffing around and I'm gonna stick on my B so to stick on my B, I'm going to use the foam dots that are included in the exclusive bundle that we've got going on, at the, the special bundle. And what I like about these, especially for an um, art journal, is they're not too thick. Not as thick as some. <laughs> just laughing because it's just... Because we can. Because we can. Because I, I do have some very, very blonde moments. That was a dead joke. <sighs> yeah. And I'm not going to stick the legs down because I'm too lazy to do that. Peeling my little circles off. But I love that these are really thin. So the bundles this weekend are fabulous. And once they're gone, they're gone. They are a once-off exclusive bundle. Da -da. Da -da -da -da. Hello, Cherie. I thought you'd love my bees. fat fingers that way two fat fingers that way makes it look like it's about the middle all right I like it it's coming together stop singing Natalie. right okay let's whack some doodling on this I'm just doing a little ascetic scribbling some ascetic writing which doesn't say anything but it's just tying up a little bit of a pattern and I'm going to wrap this up nice and quickly um, so I will put a photograph up online of my finished project and let's weigh that down a bit um, and I will link in the comments the products that I have used to get to the finished product here uh, it's really I'm just weighting that down a little so that they stick and the glue catches. Um, and it's, it's really a, a, a super easy project. You can see that that didn't really take me too long 
and it was more painful watching me cut that out. Um, it needs a it needs a title. What am I going to do for a title? Uh, how about I find a pen that works, which is the same problem I have in every bloody live Facebook. Here we go. That's your new black texture oh. for your office. I found it at home. Oh. So that says the bee's knees. So there you go. And that didn't stick down, so I didn't put enough glue on it. Righty, righty, righty oh. Let's go with this. Let me bring it up to camera, talk you through what we've done, and tell you all the things that you need to know. So I'm using the Classics Art Journal from the Classics Art Journal from Dilutions. I will link it in the comments on my next post. But um, oh, Lawrence just asked the question: What type of pen do you use for the scribbles? I use a Pilot G20, I think it's called pen. I will link that in the um, comments as well. So if I bring this up to camera and just zoom down through it, we have a gesso coating background on our black art journal page. We used the new hexed stencil designed by Natalie May. Uh, we then used that with a little bit of paint in the background. We stamped our Tracy Scott image, we images, and then and I, we, we stamped them in black soot the new black soot and then we did some you painfully watched me cut those out stamped in the back here with the on the grid stamp that I've designed there's some gold splatters there sorry about that I didn't need to lock, lock the camera um, so yeah there you go done and dusted so for today as I mentioned on nataliemay.com.au you will get 20% off paper pads and collections a5 6x6 6x6, 12x12 6x8 there's a huge range of paper collections look under the paper collections tab that will uh, be, they will all be discounted automatically at the checkout postage is $12.50 let me show you this bit postage is $12.50 for your first order if you decide that you want to order again each order after Select no judgment and we will bundle them all together. Postage is not free. It's for Australia only and it is three kilo weight limit applies. So if you jump online and order nine art journals, it'll be over three kilos and we will flick you an invoice uh, for the extra postage. All right. So uh, join the Natalie May Scrapbooking Creative Community and uh, maybe this evening I will let you know what tomorrow's special is going to be. Um, jump onto Instagram, follow me, Happy Dax, and um, there you go. So thank you for watching, guys. I'm going to take a photo of this, upload it, and link the products that I have used. So I look forward to catching up with you all very shortly. Wash your hands, kiss your kids, wear a mask, do all the things. Bye.